Welcome back. This is Bill Miranda. I'm here with Patricia Gracia, who's the CEO of Power Woman Business Center. She's the CEO, she's the president, and she's the power behind the Power Woman Business Center. <laughs> Patricia? The CEO sounds big. <laughs> CEO sounds big. Yeah, well, you're big. You're powerful. <laughs> I'm not really the CEO. I'm just, I was just a crazy a person who thought about about this great idea to create a business incubator. And, and I think my mission was to help the community and the small business owners to create jobs and to bring money to this economy and to pay back to the community. I think that was the main reason why I created the Power Women's Business Center. And you're doing those things. Um, very uh, successful. And you We're know very why? Happy. Because, I mean, you uniting forces with people like you, with Marsha McLean, who's willing to help a small business owners, with other people that is empowering the Power Women's Business Center. Like Armando Jamjian. Of course. Armando is a key. Armando Armando's is here with us. Welcome, Armando. Thank you. Good to have you here. Armando, it's, it's not only uh, our uh, accounting in the Power Women's Business Center. His firm is managing our, our, our numbers there. He's also managing the account of my uh, Power Media Group. Armando, has a, 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 Armando, tell us a little bit more about you and how is the relationship with you and the city of Santa Clarita because I'm looking here at the Santa Clarita. I actually just got the email today, and your logo is here, and I was like, oh, my God, I am so proud to work with Armando because he is the one that I needed. Sure. Uh, we, actually, the logo, actually, we're part of the Santa Clarita Economic Development Corporation as well and the Chamber um, and VIA, uh, the Valley Industry Association. I know. Um, I'm actually a CPA uh, managing director with Encore Tax Consulting Group. We're a uh, um, CPA firm that specializes also in the tax credits, the enterprise owned credits, research and development credits. Um, I'm uh, a little bit about my background, Start worked out of the big, uh, the big five firms, uh, Arthur Anderson, and uh, from there, worked in McGladder and Pull, and then uh, started my firm um, in 2004. Wow. Are you, are you a Los Angeles guy, or? Uh, grew up. Yep. Uh, actually grew up in Glendale. In Glendale. Yes. OK, that's Los Angeles, kind of, sort of. I, but I but, uh, <laughs> moved here in 2001. OK. And, and we met, the reason why we met and we started to work together is because our Power Women's Business Center building, it's located in an enterprise zone. And that's the reason why I started to work with Armando, and we decided, why not? Armando, you should be doing everything for us because you are the one. And we were just mentioning the reason why you empower your business, it's because you unite forces with people that has the talent, the experience, and not only that, they have the integrity to work with you. And that's what I found in your firm, Armando. I sure. just uh, have to tell you publicly that I'm really happy that I can see the change of my company since we started to work together, and Thank I'm you. really happy. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Sure. And also, one of the things I forgot to mention, I, I'm an elected advisor with the California Association of Enterprise Zones, so I'm, I'm uh, one of the people that's up in Sacramento meeting with uh, assembly members, state senators. I was involved with uh, helping um, push Santa Clarita to get the new zone, which is the more expanded zone. Um, because it, it encompasses now the unincorporated Santa Clarita area. And I know that you do huge things. I mean, he, you work with big corporations, but now, as I mentioned, you, our mission is to help these little small business owners. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I, I, and we were just talking last week, uh, we were talking about the problem that they're facing, because we, we know that there is always resources, solutions, but tell me a little bit more about the problems that they're fix facing right now. And one of the problems that I brought you on the table was the 1099s. Talk, talk to me about the 1099s sure. and why people get confused about the 1099s and they making a big mistake. Sure. Uh, what, what we find a lot with small businesses and even some medium to large size businesses <laughs> uh, with regards to 1099s, they're, you know, when you're hiring an employee uh, or employees, uh, if they're doing, it depends on what they're doing and, and how you're directing them, you're supposed to, they can be either 1099 or they have to actually be employees. If, if you fall outside of those rules, um, you can actually uh, there can be heavy penalties uh, from uh, from the government with regards to that. So in most cases, uh, you know, there, you want to look into that to make sure that the employees, if you're directing those employees, usually that means you're going to have to, like directing where you can hire and fire them, then usually, uh, or um, you're telling them to come in at a certain time, uh, from this time to this time, usually that means they're not a 1099 employee, they're an actual exactly. employee and need to be um, hired as an employee. A question, because uh, that's one of the, mostly because I'm facing with the small business owners in my daily basis, people that hire uh, uh, accounts or account executives to represent a company and to sell a product, they're basically making commissions, but they are employees in the category of commissions only, right? Yes. Right, because if you're having somebody representing your institution, but they have to 
go to meetings and they have to go to certain uh, places and times and dates and you are like guiding them and telling them what to do in certain way mm -hmm. and they're using a business card with your company logo, they are already employees in that category, but they are already employees. So they're not clocking or clocking right. in and clocking out, but they are employees, right? Sure. Yes. Okay, just want to clarify that. And Ar you. Armando, there's some serious penalties if, Heavy. if you don't yes. follow that. Yes, and actually paying the employees for one, and then also uh, uh, fines from the state and uh, federal government. Yes, the EDD and the IRS, right? I just, yes. I, so if you think you're saving money by not paying the employment taxes and making an employee uh, uh, supposedly a 1099, it might actually come back and yes, bite that, you. It bite you big, and also it, it also could come out from the employee causing that as well. Be where, where you know if you let them go at some point and they're disgruntled, they can actually uh, start a big case with um, with the government. Okay. So, for information on how to deal with business issues, legal and financial, come to Power Woman Business Center. We have the information. Why? Because we have Armando. Of <laughs> <Okay>. course. <laughs> we have Armando. We have people that are really willing to help our, our small business owners. And we will continue with Armando in the next segment. It's, uh, there's so, so many other things that we... We're, we're really not going to let you go, Armando. We're you have to stay you with stay. us. I'm sorry. All you right. have to stay. Oh, no problem. We're capturing you here. We're capturing Regresamos you. Regresamos con Armando. Yes. We're going to take a break right now. You're listening to your hometown station, AM 1220, KHTS.